Okay, we are back with another review, and today we got a special little treat. This one is a little personal hunt for me. Uh, this is something that I've been looking after. It is the hunt for the elusive pizza guy. So today I have a Lego minifig here. I also have some fig pens that we're going to check out as well. So without further ado, let's hop into this review. And uh, we're going to do the minifig, I think, last. We're going to check out some of these fig pens first, though. So we got some fig pins in stock. I started selling some of these Overwatch ones and these My Hero Academia ones. Some of the anime ones are, um, here, let's use the, let's use Excalibur. It does it perfectly every time, so why not? So here we go. This is Soldier 76 by Fig Pin. This is uh, number 134, I guess. And then you got this little nice display case, which is kind of cool. I like the capsule look to it because this thing is destroyed. I don't know if you guys see the retail ones of these, but they are like, look at the back of these. I mean, they're scuffed to all, all get out. I mean, it makes this look not brilliant, but once you take this out of that sleeve, I mean, look at the brilliance on that. And this is a great little display case that they actually include with this, which is nice. Uh, I like that a lot. And it actually has little I don't know if you look in the corner here, there's little clasps that actually hold the Overwatch card so that it doesn't like sag forward, which is really nice. That's a pay attention to detail. That's a must. And I guess if you didn't even want this in there and you just want to display the fig pin in the capsule too, which that looks even cooler, I think. But it's nice to have that preface behind it of what series it is. So if you did want to like line them all up, it would be cool. But if you do it without it, it looks really nice as well. It's like a little display case. I mean, I guess you could just use this as a bookmark or something. Let me, if I can even pick it up. So it has some more um, artwork on the back here, which has Soldier76, figpin.com, and then it says 134 right there. And then let's check out the figure itself. So yeah, it does have this little, originally I, I believe it slides into this base and then it just receives it on top. But again, it does have this little, this little, little clasps in the corner that is awesome how it has that so it doesn't sag forward i mean that is a great pay attention to detail because in more like humid environments if you have them on display it might sag forward and having that little catch there is really nice so here's the fig pin itself now i believe you have to take the back part off first to release the pin there we go so there's the little base right there which is cool you could tell it's a universal base because it has multiple holes for the different size pins there and then uh, let's put this back on the little figure there so I could actually hold it. So there is Soldier 76 right there. He's got his gun from Overwatch. He's all dressed up. His pants are a little bit harder to see because they're dark brown <clears throat> and black, I guess. But the at least the upper half of his body has a little bit more defined detail that you can actually see the different colorations for this enamel pin. Definitely very high quality pins that come out of this. Let's see the back here. So we have some kind of like serial number there. It says Fig Pin Made in China 2017 Blizzard Entertainment. So really cool. I definitely like the, I do like the fact that you can have this long. Let me see if does it stand up. No. See, that would be cool if this had some kind of incorporation with a little base so that it actually could stand up outside the uh, pack. But I do see that that is why they, they do that so that you could peel it back. But um, if it had a little bit more of a flat surface, you could definitely probably stand it up, I imagine. So it doesn't definitely stand up without it, but it's definitely front heavy. Uh, but regardless, it's definitely a cool little pin, and I believe it's definitely meant to be displayed in this um, stand right here. So we're going to put it back in and see how easy it is to put it back together. Pretty cool. And then, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's a neat, I think it's a neat little fig pin. I, I'm not a big fin pin, fig pin person. I saw some Batman ones and the Joker ones that were either coming in March or February that I liked that I'm going to probably pick up, but I'm not too much of a fan of these uh, lines right here that I have because uh, I picked these up mainly for uh, resale, but it's cool to just show these off to you guys and let you check out some new things. And this one is a My Hero Academia one. This is a uh, Ochacho... Ochako, uh, I'm not going to pronounce it. I'm going to butcher it. And uh, so we're going to pop her out the box. It's a little bit different type of uh, packaging, I've noticed, than the one that we just had. This one has like a soft case. It's more of like just a soft case. And this is number 163. 
and she has the same style backing only again it's a little bit different not as fanciful as the other one so let's put the we'll put this on and i'll show you her so i don't have to handle the pin itself the pink and white color scheme looks really nice on this enamel pin surface i think they did really good um work on these this is like high craftsmanship enamel pins these are really nice this is like something that you get if you go to like disney and buy like some enamel pins there i know there's a huge fandom for people who just collect disney pins because of the uh, amount of detail and craftsmanship that are put into them and this is like the same caliber of pin that i see uh if i was to compare it to it would probably be like disney would be like the best ones i've seen so this is like way up there too I mean, I would say this is either equal or if not better because of the size. I mean, the uh, huge All Might one is like, I mean, that detail on that one's sick. And I like the fact that they do this like gunmetal, this gunmetal uh, border. It really makes it uh, not stand out on the border as if it was chrome. And I think the chrome really would look tacky. So I do like all the fig pins I've seen have this gunmetal style border and i really like it and in some cases it almost makes the fig pin look like a uh, a comic cell which is kind of cool too so this is the my hero academia fig pin set let me know what you think of these little fig pins i mean the back is really cool it's definitely a hardy back it's not something that's going to come off very easy like a little clasp or something like that and it goes in rather easy too um Really nice little fig pin there. We'll just lay her uh, off to the side here. Next, let's get into the last thing. This is the hunt for the pizza guy. This is what everyone came here for. At least this is why I'm here. Um, and I'm here to find the pizza guy. And if you didn't know, the pizza guy is this guy dead in the center right there. Um, mini figs, uh, these are just basically figs that uh, Lego puts out where this is series 19. Limited edition, there's 16 in this set. And I believe they're all like, pretty much featured here in some aspect, maybe a few are left out, but let's pop open this bag and let's see what we got here. Pizza guy, pizza guy, pizza guy. I think we got pizza guy. All right, we did get pizza guy. There is pizza guy. Um, wow, that is superb. I am so glad we got pizza guy. Uh, I really wanted the pizza guy uh, out of this particular wave. I do collect lego figs um don't review them on the channel but definitely cool when i collect some of these and they're actually like something i'm actually looking for this is totally cool look at that that is awesome so let's put him on his little base here and there is the pizza guy check that out how cool is that if sean ryan's a taco man then i'm definitely the pizza guy because i definitely like pizza um we got Bro Thor coming in too. I'm gonna I'm gonna be grabbing him uh, and reviewing him on the channel. He's gonna be a good pizza pop to show off as well. But this is a totally cool little minifig here. Let me know what you think about Pizza Guy down in the comments below. I'm so glad that I was able to pull this. These minifigs are a total mystery um, in regards to what's like inside. You basically. Uh, you have whatever is on the hang tag because these all have little hang tag holes. So basically it's not like it's a, um, a formulated process like um, mystery minis are. So you either have to be lucky at the draw and get yourself whatever you want right off the bat, or you have to buy it second hand, which is pricey. Um, but why not just pay retail and just have a lucky draw and grab yourself a pizza guy, man. That is so cool. That is totally legit. So pizza guy, we got My Hero Academia fig pin. We got Overwatch fig pin. Let me know down in the comments below which one of these three is your favorite out of this uh, little demo here. Um, did you like that I got the pizza guy? What do you think of pizza guy? Do you think pizza guy is cool? Do you collect Lego figs or little Lego mini figs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, subscribe for more. I do reviews every single day. So be look out for that and have a great rest of your day.